God, welcome to Just Praise Him. Uh, we're going to get right into the Word. It's going to be so good. Remember, you can email us. It's, it, it's down below. Just Praise Him um, 1 at gmail.com or just email or just mail us regularly at Just Praise Him, uh, P.O. Box 305, uh, P.O. Box, I'm sorry, P.O. Box 305, uh, Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, 15666, okay? So let's get right into the Word, okay? Now, this is uh, Mark chapter 10, starting at verse 46. Okay. Now they came to Jericho. As he went out to, with, to Jericho with his disciples and the great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that, it was Jesus of Nazareth. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet. You know, but he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. This is verse 49. So he stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, this is verse 50, and then throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Praise God. God bless his holy word. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, that as we get into the word today, Lord God, that you will deliver us, Lord God. You, you, you will help us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Mark chapter 10 tells us the, the story of Bartimaeus. He, he was a blind beggar sitting on the side of the road. Now, Jesus was leaving Jericho and, and, and about to pass in front of him. When he found out it was Jesus, he started shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Well, now, Jesus technically was the son of David. He was the son of Joseph. Why did Bartimaeus call him son of David? Have you ever wondered that? Why would a beggar call him the son of David? Why not simply Jesus? Why not, why not the son of Joseph and Mary? You know, see, he recognized who he was. He, he recognized he was the Messiah, the promised one. He knew that healing came from this name. A few chapters earlier, the religious leaders didn't recognize Jesus. They thought he was a, a teacher. They were jealous and well, intimidated by him. It, it's interesting that this blind man man that didn't have any physical sight was one of the first ones to recognize Jesus as the Messiah. One of the first ones. When he cried out, Jesus, son of David, he was saying, Messiah, healer, deliverer. He was saying, most high God. He was saying so much more than the religious leaders. He, he recognized the one true king, the one that would heal, bring prosperity, tear down the evil one. Jesus stopped in his tracks. Now, I, I, I can imagine Jesus thinking, here's someone who knows who I am. I mean, he knows I'm all powerful. He's expecting my goodness. 
when Barnabas started shouting, um, I'm sure people around him said, Barnabas, be quiet. You know, you're, you're causing a scene. Jesus is going to get upset with you. Stop yelling. That's how a lot of people act today. Pe people will try to talk you out of your miracle. They, they will try to talk you out of your healing. Okay. They'll tell you all the reasons why you can't. Why you won't be healed. Or why you won't be prosperous. It's because they don't know what God's put in you. They, they, they can't hear what you hear. Okay, Negative voices, they, man, they, they will try to discourage you. But when you get quiet, you'll hear that still, small voice saying, This is not my destiny. You know, you, you're, you're better than this. Not able to get ahead is, is not a, your lot in life. Abundance is on the way. You know, depressed, no passion. That, that is not who you are. Freedom is coming. Joy is coming. Breakthroughs are coming. God whispers in your spirit. He, he whispers dreams and, and promises of, of what you can become. The enemy will do his best to, to drown that out. No matter how loud those, those other voices are. Don't let them talk you out of what God has whispered in your spirit. The scripture talks about the secret partitions of our hearts. That's, that, that's the dreams. That's, that, that's the dreams that God gave you at night. Okay? The promises that, that you haven't told anyone about, it, it, it seems far out, you know, but... Like, 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 like it could never happen. You know, that, that's God speaking to you. His dream for your life is much, much, much bigger than your own. Trust God, man. He will make every dream, every single dream come true. He will make your path straight. Now, the, these people saw Bartimaeus as insignificant, unimportant, just, just a blind beggar. You know, they, they, they told him to, to, to be quiet. But Bartimaeus shouted even louder. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and said, let him come to me. Now, verse 50 says, Bartimaeus threw off his coat. This, this is significant, okay? I mean, it was significant in those days, but it's significant now. Scholars tell us when a, when a person had a le le legitimate disability, they were given an official coat from the government that, that gave them the right to beg. Uh, the beggar's coat was very valuable. That, that, that's how they made their living. On the other hand, it labeled you as a beggar. Just as we recognize people by their uniforms, you know, like police officers or firefighters or doctor. When you wore a beggar's coat, everywhere you went, people knew you were at a disadvantage. You know, they, they, that you were not up to par. That coat gave you the, the right to, to feel sorry for yourself, to, the right to be depressed, the, the right to sit around and, and self-pity. When, when Bartimaeus heard Jesus say, come, the, the first thing he did was throw off his coat. His, his attitude was, was, this is a new day. I, look, I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I, I, I'm done wearing this label that, that, that says, you know, disadvantage. I'm not, I'm done begging. I don't, I don't need this coat anymore. He, he changed his mind. He, he threw it off. 
he essentially said, <laughs> I'm not a victim. I'm a victor. God is on the throne. He's bigger than this problem. He has beauty for these ashes. He got rid of the excuses. As long as you justify where you are, making excuses as to why you can't rise higher, you know, you're, you're at a disadvantage, you, you know, you're bitter, well, then, then you'll get stuck. I, I wonder how many of us are, are wearing that beggar's coat. H how many of us are, are, are making excuses? How many of us are, are, are not walking in the victory provided by Jesus? You might say, I got a good reason. Um, you know, somebody walked out of this relationship or, you know, I, I lost a loved one. <laughs> I, I came down with an illness. Uh, that, that, that's why I'm negative. That, 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 that's why I'm sour, you know. Can I tell you something? We all, now listen, we all have a reason to feel sorry for ourselves. Everybody's been hurt. Everybody's made mistakes. Everybody's had disappointments. Get, get rid of the excuses, man. It, it may not have been fair, but, but God is fair. Okay. He's a God of justice. He, he wouldn't have allowed it if, if it wasn't going to keep if it was going to keep you from your destiny, he wouldn't allow it. Now, look, I, I love you today. I, I, I want to be nice to you, okay? I really want to be nice. But I don't believe in giving people the right to feel sorry for themselves. Not because it wasn't fair. Not, not because life didn't throw you a curve. But because it will keep you from seeing the beauty for ashes. It will keep you from being restored. God, God wants to make a, the enemy pay. Okay? He, he, he wants to bring you out better, better, way better than you were before. Take off the self-pity. Take off the hurts. Take, take off all the disappointments. You can't reach your destiny making excuses as long as you're wearing the beggar's coat. Giving yourself a, a reason to be bitter, you know, feel disadvantaged, feeling, you know, like you're less than, it will keep you from, from the new levels God has in store. When Bartimaeus took off that coat, he, he was not only leaving his livelihood, all, all that he had ever known. He was leaving the negative things in the past. Okay, just leaving all behind him. He was saying, no more will I live like this. No more will I put up with it. It, it was symbolic. He was leaving the dysfunction, the, the, the bad breaks, now, you have to be willing to leave some things if, if you're going to become all you were created today. You, you may need to, to, to leave bitterness or leave a bad attitude, leave, leave compromise. You know, you know. Jesus told Bartimaeus to come. Now, a blind man, <laughs> he couldn't see. But, but he started walking towards Jesus based solely on what he heard. All he had was his belief in who Jesus was and his word to come. Now, you may not see healing yet, but, but you have to go about what you've heard. By his stripes, I am healed. Now, you, you don't see increase yet. Business is slow. Go by what you've heard. I will lend and not borrow. You, you know, your, your child is off course. No, no, no sign of them improving. Well, as for me and my house, he will serve the Lord. Yes. Keep saying it over and over and over again. Jesus asked Bartimaeus 
what is it that you would want me to do for you? Now, it was obvious. The, the guy needed his sight, okay? He, he wanted to see. The, the question that Jesus asked is, is important, though. It is very important. The, the, the reason he asked him is you have to de declare what you want and, and believe that he will do it. You have to declare what you want and believe that he will do it. Hebrews 11, 6 says, now, now I'm reading this out of the Passion Version, okay? And without faith living with us, excuse me, and without faith living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith, knowing that he is real and that he rewards the faith of those who passionately seek him. See, he said, Lord, I, I want to see. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. Now, instantly, he could see. Instantly, he could see. God is saying to us what he said to him. Your faith is going to turn things around. Your faith is going to open the right doors. Your faith is going to bring... <laughs> your faith is going to bring unusual faith. <laughs> it, it, it's going to happen sooner than it looks. I mean, it, it, keep expecting it. Keep, keep talking like it, it, it's going to happen. Talk like it's already happened. Go out each morning looking for, for, for God's goodness. He's passing by. Don't, don't just brush up against him. Reach out and touch him. If you do this, I believe and declare your faith is going to make things happen that you could never make happen, man. God is about to, to open that door. He's about to open supernatural doors. Turn impossible situations around. Remember that God will be faithful. If you believe him and if you trust him, he will turn all this around in your favor. Okay. Be, be like Bartimaeus was. and Throw that coat off. Okay. So just throw it off. <laughs> that, 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 that coat that, that, that's been holding you back. The, the, the coat that, that has made you feel uh, defeated. The, the coat that tells you you will never succeed. That you will never get healed. That, that you will never get, you know, you, you will never prosper. Throw it off. Throw it off and wrap yourself in the love of God. P put on a, 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 a new coat. One of victory. The, the, the one that, that, that God has ordained for you since the beginning of time that you should wear. Just, just throw off that one coat and put on a new coat and walk in victory. Walk in healing. Walk in prosperity, bless God. This, 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 is, this, is, this has been ordained for you. Victory is yours in Jesus' name. Why don't we pray together? Pray, Heavenly Father, I come before you now. I know that Jesus went to the cross and he died for my sins. Father, you raised him from the dead. According to your word, I receive my salvation, my redemption, my righteousness in Christ Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, and I'll see you next week.